What's up, y'all? I am starving. I have not had a meal today, but it's okay because we're at the movies. I am seeing a good chunk of movies over the next seven days. But today we're seeing The Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in our favor. Let's talk about it. So that was The Hunger Games, directed by Francis Lawrence. He directed Catching Fire, Mockingjay Part 1, and Mockingjay Part 2. Stars um, Tom Blythe, Rachel Zegler, Viola Davis, Peter Dinklage, Jason Schwartzman. So The Hunger Games, the movie that came out in 2012 with Jennifer Lawrence, that is the 74th annual Hunger Games. This is the prequel, takes place 64 years prior. This is the 10th annual Hunger Games. So this movie is about President Snow, the ruler and the killer, baby. His villain origin story, so to speak. What a very bold and risky take for a story to give us a protagonist we already hate. The Snow family was devastated, you know, from the war, and they lost almost everything. Homie doesn't have a pot to piss in, but he lives in the capital, surrounded by wealth, so he keeps up pretenses the best he can. There are so many things to unpack with this character, I don't think we have that kind of time. I will say, I think Tom Blythe does a great job playing a character who is just living in a moral dilemma. The only thing I really did not like about this movie is I thought it was very rushed. Honestly, they should have split this into two movies. The last third of this movie could have been its own movie. It felt like it was something separate from the rest of the film. And I think that's where it started to get really rushed. I really felt like they could have taken that part, made it its own movie, and stretched it out, and, and given us more. I wanted more in that last third, and we didn't get it. That was a little frustrating. But that's when the tension really starts to pick up. Other than that, I love this. It's not perfect by any means. I don't think it quite stands up to the greatness of the first three. It definitely doesn't stand up to the greatness of the first film. But I think this stands on its own just fine. The tone of this is so different from the originals because we're not really in the meat of the districts. This is all about the capital. We're kind of getting a behind the scenes look at the Hunger Games from, you know, just 10 years past its inception. The casting is stellar. I wouldn't say I was concerned about Viola Davis. I think it was kind of a curious concern because I've never seen her like this before. She was just sinister she was wonderful i love the maturity of the older cast viola davis peter dinklage uh jason Schwartzman, and then you've got these newbies these babies rachel zegler tom blythe there was this a balance it just made sense it was perfect it was great casting now the elephant in the room rachel zegler I know a lot of y'all still have thoughts and opinions about Rachel Zegler, given what was said about Snow White. Well, it was said like over a year ago, but we didn't find out really until this past summer. So some of y'all still have opinions and thoughts about that, understandably so. So I'm just going to say it straight. She's excellent. I expected nothing less than excellence from her. She's excellent. She's a theater kid, clearly. It's so evident. She does a lot of singing in this movie, and that's straight from the book. But, um, yeah, I mean, she has an incredible voice. Ah, oh, her version of The Hanging Tree is so haunting and so spooky. It's beautiful. It's desperate. She is the hope in this movie because our main character, our protagonist, who is, in a sense, an unreliable narrator because we can't trust him. You can't trust anything about him but you trust her. She had the task of carrying the heart of this movie and I think she did a really good job. So, well done. Okay, so now the first movie I bawled my eyes out from beginning to end. This one did not have me so emotional, but it, it there was this feeling of just, it, it's tragic because you know how it ends. I'd say a solid seven out of 10. Thought it was great. Casting, acting, cinematography was great. I think it's well-directed. It's just, I would definitely watch that again.